Hello subscribers and first time viewers, welcome to the Kenny Hack. Um, Today is hopefully this is just going to be a really quick video follow up of the last video just comparing the marker method and the black painted tile method removal. Um, trying some, this should be a pretty good image if I can get it turning out. There's very subtle differences between the pure white and the really light grays. Um, seeing if my settings hold up from my last burns. Um, but also kind of trying to, I, I, in the last video I never showed what the image, what the piece looks like right after burning. And you've seen the finished product, but I want to show you what what it looks like right when you're done burning. It's going to look terrible. It's going to be you're going to think it's you're not burning deep enough and you you need to up the power because like when you when you see this product like here it is burning right now it's hard to see with the glare but it almost looks like it's hardly burning it but after you clean it off that's when you'll really be able to tell if you're over burning or under burning so I'll, when, when, once this image is done, I'll show you what it looks like right when you get done burning. And just because it looks terrible right when you're done burning doesn't mean that you are underpowered. You won't really be able to tell until you brush it off clean. And if you have an like, I don't have an air assist. I think if you had an air assist and were blowing that residual soot off, and residue it would look a lot better than what it does while it's burning but like right now it doesn't look like the image is burning in very well at all but we'll see once I clean it off and I'm really hoping I'm trying to see if I can pick up all them really subtle grays this is more of an HD image than my last one was just a pretty low quality this this was around a 300 dpi image that when I imported it or saved it and I converted it to 318 dots per inch and set it to a 4 inch by 4 inch which that's what it come out to be in millimeters I'm still running 4300 millimeters per minute 85 percent power on the newsprint dither and it's going to be about a 30 minute burn for a 4 inch by 4 inch tile. We'll, we'll see how it all comes out and I'll show you the be right after the burn and how I clean it and after it's cleaned how it looks. Here's also how I set the image and the shape properties. Um, a lot of times I start off with the gamma around a 1.25, 1.35, and I usually start with the contrast at that, negative 15 contrast, 15 brightness, and 50 on the enhancements. That's generally kind of where I start. Um, for this one, I took it back to a 1 gamma. I was trying to see how light of a gray I could put just above the pure white and still get it to show up on my image um, if this one doesn't turn out I got another tile that's ready and I might shift this up to like a 1.75 gamma and if you see that's greatly increased the the gray level over the pure white so that one should burn a lot easier because it is a lot more of a gray shift uh, than what the previous image was. But like I said, this this is a test piece, just just trying to see how how light I can get of a gray I can get to transfer in on this piece. Uh, so I might give both a try, unless the first piece turns out really well. If the, if if I could get them light grays at a one gamma. Let's take that, like here it is, 1.75, that's at a 1. So you can, it, it's about half as getting a light. i just trying to see if I can get that light gray to come in. Um, so once it's over, I'll show you what I got, and then I'll go to the cleaning portion of the video. 
So here's what the image looks like right after it gets done burning. It's really flat looking. You don't see much detail. You'd probably think, well, I didn't burn it deep enough. There's no white coming through. Um, this here is the kind of paint I'm using. It's a Rust-Oleum 2X paint primer high gloss. And this is what I use to clean it. Just an old toothbrush. I set the water to where it's kind of cool. Maybe up to about body temperature. Just barely warm. If you use too hot a water, it's going to soften up the paint and you'll be able to scrub the paint right off. So you got to kind of keep it cool, just barely warm if you can. And you don't need to scrub very hard. Just scrub really lightly, get a little water on it, and just start lightly brushing. I'm barely putting any pressure on the toothbrush. Just lightly scrub it. I probably really should have like a microfiber cloth to clean up but this is a demo piece so we'll see and from there it might look okay but up close it really didn't get much of the fine gray detail in it was probably a little too light so definitely need to up the gamma a little bit Get, you can see here this gray here. I'll kind of go look and see how that gray looked and try to get what that looks like up more into his helmet so that color of gray is, starts to transfer. And then we'll try it on the second burn and we'll see uh, how that higher gamma comes out if that turns out better. That one's still not terribly bad. It's not. Not the best, but it's a little too light. Here's the second demo tile. Changed a couple things. On the right side, I kept the same settings as before, but I just upped the gamma to 1.75. And negative 15 contrast, negative 15 brightness, 50 on the enhancements. And I ran that for 14 minutes and stopped the burn. Because I also wanted to try out light burn in their preview pane uh, section. You can move the slider bar and select where to start the burn over. Now I stopped that burn right at 14.00 minutes, which is right at about 50% of the time. And I s selected it to start at 13.59. I even gave it one second of overlap. And you can see the black line in there. It still didn't get the overlap. It didn't line back up perfectly. So if you ever have a burn stop halfway through, like I was coming from right to left, if your, your burn suddenly stops, don't try to use that start from here command. Start from the left side and work back to the right and just be ready to stop it as soon as it tries to meet. You really can't trust that second counter in the preview panel, I don't think. But where it is good, like if I was making a, a true test panel, I'd have ran it for five minutes, stopped it, made an adjustment, like either like start ramping up the speed, and then just like break it down into like five or six increments, like every five minutes, stop it, ramp up the speed, run it for five minutes, stop, run up, for, run, you know, and make tests coming all the way across. And then when you brush it off, you can see, and as long as you are kind of consistent on how you stepped up each section, you could say, well, right in this area gave me the best results. I need to run it at that speed with these settings. Um, it's another reason uh, I don't like the plugins they, they, I've already had to make some gamma adjustments on this. Like on this right side, I upped the gamma and I upped the speed from 4300 to 4600. 
on this left side, um, I decreased the contrast from a negative 15 to a negative 25 to make it even darker. I just want to see how that comes out. So we'll clean it off and we'll see how both sides look. So there you can see after it's cleaned up, I don't know how well it will show up on the video. Um, I'd say the right side is a little crisper. Um, still didn't pick up all the, mo the really subtlest middle tones and them really light tones. The left side definitely picks up more of the shadows, but it also doesn't have as the bright bright whites. It's all a little more muted down. So I'd say if I was getting ready to do a full set of runs of these, and I was going to make like a full set of four, I'd have chose this right side. That's there's some little areas that could be improved, but overall it's it's fairly good. Um, I'd be pretty happy with it. Um, so kind of where that's at and hopefully that kind of gave you an idea of how to set some things up maybe how to run some test patterns always be ready to run at least one full tile of tests and like I said you can with that new light burn deal where you can set where to start it you can make test patterns going all the way across your image and find one that gives you the best results. So hopefully by the time you do one whole test block of different speeds or different uh, photo qualities or enhancements, you can find the setting that you're happy with for that, that particular image. I don't think, you know, th this tile has had one more day to dry out and that might be why it burned a little better than the, t the previous tile because that only had about 10 hours of dry time. This has 36 hours of dry time. So maybe it was able to burn it off a little easier. It had dried that little bit extra more. So really, I, I, I'd say if you're doing this black paint removal, maybe try to get all your tiles painted up at least a couple days in advance. Give them a good two days to dry out so you know they're completely dry. And that... It's not, you maybe can get more consistent numbers that way. Um, I'm still learning this as I'm going. So it's just kind of hopefully what I'll plan to do in the future. But overall, like I said, uh, if I did it all in one test tile, I, I probably could have found my numbers a little quicker. But thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. And I'll see you on the next video.